Hello, welcome to Precision Turbo Talks. My name is Grant Gorham, and today we are going to discuss probably our most frequently asked question, which is what feed fitting and drain fitting should I be using on my turbocharger? Uh, we get this inquiry a lot because there's a lot of information out on the internet and every turbocharger manufacturer has its own specific recommendation. Precision Turbo it has its own recommendation for a dash 4 AN and a dash 10 drain line for any turbocharger that is smaller than an 8884. Any turbocharger that is larger than an 8884, we recommend a dash 6 feed line and still a minimum of a dash 10 drain line. Now you can utilize a larger drain line and it'll do nothing but help the application, but our minimum recommendation is dash 10. As you look here, I have some examples. We have a eighth inch NPT to dash 4 AN feed fitting, which is the most common feed fitting we use on our turbochargers that are smaller than an 8884. Um, to determine or make sure that this is the correct fitting, you can take a pair of calipers and you can actually measure it. Um, if you measure it, you'll notice that the actual opening is right at 4.2 millimeters, roughly on both sides of this feed fitting. You want to make sure that you're getting a fitting that is as close as possible to that. Um, if you take your dash six to quarter inch NPT fitting and measure it, it'll be right at 7.5 millimeters, and that'll be on both sides, of course. And say you're at home and you don't have access to calipers, but you need to know if it is measuring, you can take the end of a pencil and verify that it fits in on the dash four, and you can take that same number two pencil and verify that it goes all the way through the number six. That's just a quick way to check. When the oil is actually coming into the turbocharger, it hits the shaft at a high shaft speed and it has um, an excessive amount of heat which turns it into foam. So what's going on is as it's leaving the turbocharger, it's actually leaving as foam and it takes it a little bit of time to turn back into oil. And it's very important to have plenty of room to alleviate the crankcase pressure and the gravity drain. So the larger the better is what it comes down to. If you take a look at the drain flange that we actually sell, it's a two piece flange here. That way you can utilize a dash 10 outlet or a dash 12. Uh, it's a dash 10 ORB to dash 10 or dash 12. But when you actually screw it together and you take a pair of calipers here, you can test this at home with your own flange. You'll notice that it actually has an opening of right about 18.8, 19 millimeters. That is very important that we have an opening that large. We recommend to try to get it around 20 millimeter. It also has an outlet of right at 13 millimeters. Some of these drain flanges that are for sale online will be 13 millimeters all the way through. That's too restrictive. Also, you want to make sure you're using the appropriate gasket. And if you're not using the gasket and using silicone, that you don't put an excessive amount of silicone on the flange where it actually covers up this hole because that'll restrict the oil flow also. So in summary, we recommend a dash 4 AN feed line for any turbocharger that is smaller than an 8884. And we recommend a dash 6 feed line for an 8884 and larger. We recommend a dash 10 drain line for all of our turbochargers, however, bigger the better and will help sufficiently drain the system. If you're still experiencing smoking issues and you have these two fittings installed appropriately, there may be something else in the combination that is causing this and you may want to contact our service technical line to see if they can assist you with what issues might occur. Thank you for watching. This has been Precision Turbo Talks.